structure of this core workout looks way more complicated than it is, I promise. It's broken up into short two or three minute blocks with 15 seconds of rest in between each block. There's a lot of plank work here, but we're splitting it up with core work off your hands so that upper body gets little breathers. There are three plank blocks. For each, it's three exercises that you do for 30 seconds back to back. Quick 15 second rest and then repeat once more. First one focuses on center core, second on right obliques, last on left obliques. There's side body work in a kneeling position that'll give our upper body a rest in between each plank block. Three moves, 30 seconds each, and we just go through that once. At the end of the workout, we'll have a 30 second round of towel crunches to bring the side body work back to center and stabilize. Okay, grab a dish towel and let's get going. You'll get a quick preview of the exercises before each block begins. Here's a preview of what to expect from your first plank block. You're gonna find a high plank position with your feet on a towel and at the beeps, we'll get going with bear. With bear, think tabletop spine. You're bending and straightening your legs back out to plank. And when you bend your knees in, try to stop them when they're under your hips. As we tire, we kind of want to cheat and pull the feet in all the way and sit our bum down to our heels. To prevent that, stop when the knees are under the hips, then straighten them right back out to plank. At the beeps, you're going to keep your legs still, and we're going to take this into a pike, lifting and lowering the hips. Depending on how open your hamstrings are, you might not be getting your hips up very high. I know I'm super tight in the back of the legs, and that's fine. Still keep your legs straight so that the work is coming from your core and not your legs. At the beeps, we're gonna combine these two movements, but we're gonna do it in a forearm plank position. You have a 15 second rest coming up at the beeps and then we're gonna do that same thing again from the top. Okay guys, you know the drill, we're gonna do that same thing from the top, so make your way to a high plank position for bear. If your wrists are bothering you though, feel free to do any of the first two exercises from your forearms. Focus on keeping your hips at shoulder height as you do this. Notice how my back is flat. If you're feeling this in a bad way in your low back, chances are it's sagging down towards the ground. To prevent that, think of gently knitting your ribs together. So really pull the belly button in tight towards the spine. At the beeps, your legs stay straight and we're gonna start lifting and lowering the hips for that pike. As you lift your hips up, you can let your gaze naturally shift towards your feet. You don't need to crane your neck and continue to look forward. Try to keep your heels lifted as the hips come up so we don't want to drop down to a flat foot. Heels are lifted, light in the toes. At the beeps, you're just going to lower onto your forearms and we're going to combine those two movements. When we're down low like this, it's okay to step your feet out a little wider than you might normally in a plank. You'll feel your ob obliques engage a little more as you do this, and it's also just gonna give you some more room as you bend and straighten those knees. Last few seconds, guys, at the beeps, you're done with this block. Here's a preview of the next block. It's gonna be quick. We're focusing on the right side obliques. So you're gonna be kneeling on your left knee. Your right leg is gonna be extended out straight and you're gonna hold the towel overhead. We'll get started with Mermaid at the Beeps. If you have really tight shoulders like me, hold the towel at the end so that you have a wider grip.
At the beeps, you're gonna bend your elbows, bringing the towel lightly behind your head, and we're gonna take it into a twist. So holding at your low point, you're gonna twist so that you face the floor and then twist back to face center. You wanna keep your chest open as you do this. The towel's behind your head, but it shouldn't be pulling on your neck. If it is, just ditch it. At the beeps, we're gonna hold low. You're gonna extend the top arm up to the ceiling and we're gonna pulse to finish. So you can hang on to the towel or drop it, doesn't really matter. Think of this as one inch of movement. Pulse up an inch, down an inch, staying really low. At the beeps, you're done, and we're gonna go into our next plank block, still focusing on the right side obliques. Here's your preview of the next plank block. It's gonna be very similar movements to what we did that first plank block, but your right foot is going to be in front of left. So in this twisted low body position, you're gonna target the right side obliques. All right guys, make your way to plank. Your feet are on a towel. Your right foot is crossed in front of the left. We're gonna get started at the beeps. So now as you bend your knees in this cross position, they're going in towards the left elbow every time. Same idea as when we did regular bear though, you wanna keep your hips right around shoulder height. At the beeps, you're gonna straighten out your legs and we're gonna take this into a pike. So same foot position here, your right foot is in front of left, but I want you to try to drop your heels down so you're just on the edges of your feet. You'll notice I'm gonna do this for a couple reps and it's really hard, so then I'm gonna lift my heels again, but see if you can do it on the edges of your feet with your heels down, that's the challenge. At the beeps, you're gonna lower onto your forearms and we're gonna combine those two moves. So same deal here, if you drop your heels down, it becomes a little harder, but it can also feel kind of weird on the knees when you do that bending and straightening, so I like to do this one on the balls of my feet. At the beeps, you get 15 seconds of rest before we take that back from the top. Okay, I know 15 seconds does not feel like a lot of time, but start making your way back to plank, feet on the towel, right foot in front of left. We're gonna start with bear at the beeps. Last push for the right side obliques here. So as you bend those knees, and remember they're going in towards the left elbow, and then you're sending them back out to that cross plank position. At the beeps, the legs are gonna stay straight. You're gonna try to drop the heels, but you don't necessarily need to, and we're gonna pike. Now, if your wrists are starting to bother you, feel free to do this one from your forearms. You're lifting the hips up at a slight angle, and then you're lowering back down. This doesn't have to be a huge range of motion for you to really feel it, so just get them up as high as you can. At the beeps, you're on your forearms. You're gonna combine those two movements to finish. Last 30 second push here. I know when I get to this point, my pikes get smaller and smaller. That's okay. Even if you're just getting those hips up a couple inches during the pike, you're doing a good job. One pike, one bear right till the end. Last few seconds and then your right side obliques are done. 
All right, guys, we're going to repeat blocks two and three, but on the left side now. So we're going to start with that mermaid crunch series so that we give our upper body a little breather from all that plank work. So to set up for this, you're going to grab your towel and you're holding it one end in each hand. You're going to kneel on your right knee and then you're going to extend your left leg out straight to the side. Make sure your uh, right hip is stacked right over that right knee. From here, you're gonna take that towel up overhead. We're gonna start bending to the side and lifting back up at the beeps. So you wanna keep your chest open as you do this. So I just think of gently squeezing my shoulder blades together and down my spine. I have really tight shoulders, so this is something I constantly have to remind myself of. As you bend over to the side, challenge how low you get. It should almost feel like a stretch for the left side body at the bottom. That's gonna force a bigger and more challenging contraction as you lift your torso back up. At the beeps, you're gonna bend the elbows, fingertips to the outside of the ears, and that towel is gonna be behind your head. Now hold low so that you feel tension in the left side obliques and you're just going to twist. Twist to face the floor and then twist back to center. Again, if you find yourself pulling on your neck with that towel, just drop it. At the beeps, you're going to hold low, top arm will extend up and will pulse to finish. One inch of movement here, pulse up an inch, down an inch, staying low so that this is a challenge for your left side obliques. Again, you don't really need to use the towel. You can drop it if you want here. At the beeps, this quick block is done. All right, guys, so we have that repeat of block three now, but on the left side. So again, it's going to be that twisted position. This time your left foot's gonna be in front of right the whole time though. We have that bear bending and straightening the knees. We take it into the pike, lifting and lowering the hips, and then we combo the two moves down on our forearms. Remember, if your wrists are starting to really bother you at this point in the workout, feel free to do however much as you need down on your forearm arms. Okay, make your way to plank. Feet on the towel, left foot in front of right. We're gonna start at the beeps. Hips at shoulder height, and now as you bend the knees, they're going in towards your right elbow. By keeping the hips level at the shoulders, you're engaging that left side body to keep those hips lifted. At the beeps, we're gonna keep our legs straight and you're gonna go into that twisted pike. Remember, it'll be harder to drop the heels. It'll be a little easier if you keep them lifted. So notice as you pike your hips up, they're kind of going up and back at a slight angle. At the beeps, you're just gonna lower onto your forearms. We're gonna combine those two movements. You're here for 30 seconds. One bear, bend the knees in, send them out. One pike, lift the hips up, lower them down. Notice it feels a little crowded down on our forearms, especially when we do the bending and straightening. That's okay, keep your hips a little higher than shoulder height. At the beeps, you get 15 seconds, and then we do this one final time. Okay, quick rest. Start making your way to plank, left foot in front of right, last time through these exercises. Last 90 seconds of work on the left side of our body. Remember, if your wrists are bothering you, just come onto your forearms. At the beep, you're gonna keep the legs straight. We go into that twisted pike. 
challenge yourself. See if you can do a couple of reps with the heels down on this one. And then if it gets to be too much, just lift that back heel. You'll notice that's exactly what I do. At the beeps, you lower to your forearms. You know the drill. Almost there, guys. One bending and straightening of the knees, one rep lifting and lowering the hips. Keep this going right till the end. At the beeps, you're going to shake it out. We have a 30 second finisher and it is not in plank. So that is the good news. All right, guys, 30 second finisher. We're just going to bring the work back to center. I hate ending on one side of the body because it always feels lopsided. So grab your towel. You're going to grab one end with each hand and I want you to sit down on your tailbone. We're going to do a full body crunch. As the knees come in towards the chest, you're going to weave them under and over that towel. If that proves to be too much, don't worry about putting the feet over and under the towel. Just do the crunch and you can even ditch the towel. We're going to start at the beeps, final 30 seconds. So don't just think of bringing the knees in. I want you to think of bringing the chest up. So the top half and bottom half of your body are coming up in, to, in together as you crunch. If the towel is on top of your shins, you're going to whip it under your feet and then extend back out. Next time in, loop it over back on top of your shins and extend. Last few seconds and then your workout is done at the beeps. Keep this going. Awesome work, guys. That is your core workout. You are done.